Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I am excited about this little um, embellishment I'm about to make. I got this jewelry making kit from BB Crafts, and it came with all the uh, metal bases. It came with the uh, the clear overlay to put on top. It also came with um, lobster claw clasps and jump rings and it came with two different kinds of chain so that you could make necklaces out of it. And um, I'm also going to use the glass beads. They're so beautiful that I got from BB Crafts and uh, the rondelles in all the different sizes. So I think I'm going to jump right in and use the big one. We're going to go right to the big one. And um, Mm, I'm excited about this. I'm not actually going to make it into jewelry, but I guess when you're done, you could uh, make it into a brooch or whatever you want, but it's actually going to be hanging upside down because I want to hang dangles off of the bottom. So this is the one that we're going to be working with. And I am going to start by painting it white. I'm going to start by um, giving it a coat of gesso just some white gesso and I like to use my little sponge pouncer to uh, get the coverage that I'm looking for. And I'm not worried about painting the back because you won't see it. And yes, I'm cheating and wearing gloves. I know. And the color that I'm going to use is Pink Ballet Slipper. I think it's made by Waverly. I got it on clearance at Walmart and I love the color. So, Pink Ballet Slipper it is. Now after that is all good and dry, I add my Marie Antoinette image that I printed out and cut to fit. Now I'm putting glossy accents on the top, more is better, because then when you put the uh, clear cabochon on top, you kind of squish it around to get the air bubbles out so that you have a clear image underneath. So the more you have under there, the better that is to smoosh around and you can just wipe off anything that uh, squeezes out extra. And now I'm going to add this beautiful a tulle ruffle because Marie Antoinette ruffles and bows, ruffles and bows. So I'm going to add this ruffle directly to the back of the pendant. And I decided to go with white. I almost did the pink, but I figured there's enough pink accents here to go around. So white tulle is what I went with. And I love it. And now I'm going to add this whole thing to a doily. So I'm going to go ahead and put another ruffle on the doily because more ruffles, more better. And I'm just hot gluing it down. Um, fabric sticks to fabric pretty good with hot glue and if you're not gonna wear it, you don't have to wash it, so it should be good to go. Super cute. So now I'm just gonna glue the pendant down to the doily and the ruffle. And now I made these little pearl dangles from the pearls and rondelles that I got from BB Craft. And so I'm just going to add the dangles to the what is supposed to be the top of the pendant, but I'm using it as the bottom so that I can dangle these off. And it's just beautiful. I love how that looks. And now, of course, we need more bling and more pearls. So I have a little piece of this beautiful bling, and I'm just going to hot glue it right on. Uh, the hot glue is seeping through the uh, filigree design and it's sticking to the tool underneath so I'm not worried about it coming off. And now I'm going to add this adorable pearl and pink rose uh, trim all around. I love it. But what we are missing, my friends, are the bows. So now it's bow time. And I'm going with the pink bows. Super cute, pink bows. So I absolutely love how this turned out. Please let me know below what you think. If it's, you know, if you think it's totally adorable like I do, let me know, give me a thumbs up. And I've got the link to BB Crafts below. So I hope you go over and check it out. They have so many great craft products to work with. So thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you on the next one.